So we just talked about uh, delta Rg, reaction Gibbs free energy change. Now remember, we are in electrochemical engineering, electrochemistry chemi class. So we have to link delta Rg to cell potential E. Okay. For an electrochemical cell with one mole of pro progression, for one mole of progression, as we said, it does not necessarily mean one mole of products are formed or one mole of a reactant to consume, but for one mole of progression, like the example that we said before, the maximum electrical work that can be produced, the maximum electrical work that can be produced, W for work that can be max, can be produced would be E, cell potential, times Q the total charge that passed between the two electrodes. Okay, E would be the cell potential for such an electrochemical cell. Potential times charge, that would be the electrical work that performed. Okay, the maximum would be E times Q. And if we look at further, considering Faraday law, the Q, the number of charge transferred or electron transferred would be N times F. N times F. Again, N would be the mole of electron transferred per mole of re progression for this particular reaction. N would be the number of electron transferred per progression of the mole of electron transferred per mole of progression for this particular reaction that uh, you are examining. F, of course, would be Faraday constant, 96,485 coulomb per mole. Okay. And W for work, W max, the maximum amount of work, and it would be a positive number. It will, in this case, always a positive number because it is done, the electrical work is done by your system onto its surrounding, onto its external circuit. So that's a positive number. It's a work done by a system to its environment, to its surrounding. So by convention, we take it as positive for work. Okay. From energy conservation point of view, from energy conservation point of view, the system does some work to its environment, to its surrounding. The work is electrical in nature, and the work done by the system, okay, would be equal to the reaction gives free energy change. The work done by the system through this electrochemical reaction would be equal to the reaction gives free energy change. The energy change in the system, all the change in system free energy. Final state minus initial state. That gives us the change in system energy. That Where does that energy go? That energy is used to do work to its the system's surrounding our environment in the form of electrical work. Okay, so from energy conservation point of view, the change in system free energy, the final state minus initial state would be equal to the work done by the system to the environment. Remember, data G quite often we talk about would be a negative number. Well, W, the work we said would be positive number. So negative, positive, as a result, we need this negative sign. We need this negative sign here. Or you can write it in another way, that G plus W max equals zero. That's energy conservation, okay? So this is from energy conservation point of view. We linked the change in system gives free energy to the work done by the system to its surrounding. The work we said would be positive. The free energy change, final state minus initial state is quite often a negative one number, means from high energy state to low energy state. Okay, that's why we need this negative sign here. 
and we put plug the W max, which is E times NF. This would be what we get are going to get. That G equals minus NFE. N again would be the mole of electron transferred per mole of progression. F is again fairly constant. E would be the cell potential. So this equation linked cell potential E with the data G, the Gibbs free energy change for a process, for a chemical reaction. Linked potential with Gibbs free energy change. This is what we said here. It, we get now are able to connect cell potential E and change in system thermodynamic property, which is data G. And uh, a spontaneous process, a spontaneous process we said before requires data G to be, if you remember, smaller than zero, negative data G, and negative data G also requests positive E, positive E, and that's consistent with what we said before. For a electrochemical reaction, if the cell potential for the reaction as you written is positive, that means the process is spontaneous, that process is natural, it uh, is energetically favorable, okay? So, and if all reactants and products, if for a reaction, all their react reactants and products are in a standard state, standard pressure, one bar pressure, then we would have data G become data G zero, standard state equals minus NF, E become E zero, the standard cell potential. So this is the equation that links standard cell potential under standard condition to the standard Gibbs free energy change, which we have calculated using an example before. Okay, so this slide we linked cell potential E, which you can measure with a voltmeter, and the Gibbs free energy change for the reaction under consideration. And if they are standard states for both reactants and products, we would have the zero for each of the G and E value.